Okay, so this wig has, you see it posted, I just posted a wig show and tell, and I was trying to make the wig my own, and at that time, I didn't record what I did, but I came back on and said, hey, I cut it and pulled my hair out but I still wasn't so comfortable with what I had it was better I felt better about it once I did cut it but it wasn't perfected the way that I wanted it to be so what I did was go back to Sally's I bought some wig clips I bought a needle and thread like the needle and thread you would sew in a weave and I had some um, hair glue left over here at home and I went to work so I am loving the outcome now. As you can see, it looks so much more realistic and believable. It doesn't even look like a wig. Look at that. It doesn't even look like a wig. It looks like a bomb weave or like I'm just... I just woke up like this, you know? A lot of the time, a lot of people try on these wigs and it looks amazing on them. And it's just like they throw it on and it looks awesome. But, you know, there's some people in the world that have a problem just buying a wig and it looking the same way. Well, a lot of us do. This is a perfect example of me having to make a wig my own. I'm just going to show you this unit now that it is reconstructed to my liking. So if you're interested in seeing what I did to make this wig my own, then just keep watching. I showed you in the last video that I ended up cutting the part on the wig. And that's what I ended up with. So what I did was remove the two snap clips. I totally removed them. And I bought um, from Sally's a pack of 12, I believe it was, for about $5, 5 or $6. And I put them right all the way along the parting. So on the left side, I put two that snap shut. And on the other side, I also put two that also snap. I left the comb that is right there in the back just to basically um, put the wig on before clipping the sides. Then the ear tabs, I put another snap clip just about, what, two inches away from the end of the ear tab or whatever. I don't know how many inches that is, but that's my guess <laughs> and I put one there and then along the other ear tab about an inch in I put another one then I went ahead in the back and placed one comb I could have did two but I don't really like the combs in the back they kind of irritate me so I thought one would be perfect just to keep it still so that's basically what I did to the wig. Then when I was done, I still felt like the hair was shedding from when I cut it. So I placed some glue here, hair glue. I don't know if you can see it, but I placed hair glue along that line so that it would not shed any more hair. 